Hey everybody, it's Krista here, and today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to create your own super cool cardboard fort at home. Cardboard is such an amazing material to work with. It's free, it's recycled, and the possibilities are basically endless as to what you can make. The Department of Illumination recently launched the Boxtopia Canada Day Challenge, challenging you to make a Canada-themed cardboard creation for your chance to win a prize and guaranteed to have some fun. You can use any type of cardboard, but generally I look for the biggest boxes that I can find. I make sure they're fairly sturdy and I also make sure they're clean. Now, that being said, you can attach a bunch of smaller boxes together. You can use other stuff like cardboard tubes or other types of cardboard packaging you might find in your recycling bin, like cereal boxes, for example. Basically, the sky's the limit and use whatever materials that you have on hand. I'm going to show you a few of the tools that I use, but really you can use whatever you have at home. My main tool that I use for cutting is I use a box cutter. This is a tool for grown-ups only. So grown-ups, if you're helping kids to cut their boxes, their cardboard, just make sure your cutting hand is very far away from your other hand and there's no little person on the other side of that box, okay? So really be super careful if you're using this very sharp instrument. But really for cutting, you can use, just use regular scissors. It will work, it just requires a bit more patience. Um, I talked about some prizes that you can win. Uh, one of the prizes in the cardboard kit is this really cool cardboard knife. It's um, totally safe for kids to use. It's a little saw, it is fantastic. Likewise, one of the other tools uh, that we have for attaching things together is this cardboard screwdriver, and it comes with a little, all, this, these little screws. So you can literally just screw two pieces of cardboard together. It is such a wonderful tool. So you have a chance to win some of those in a kit. Um, the other way that I attach things together is I have this stapler. We call it a creech because it looks a little bit like a creature. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, so you probably do not have one of these at home. I'm just giving you this information in case you ever want to level up and become super pro cardboard expert. Um, but for attaching things together, I generally don't use um, any sort of tape. It's just not strong enough. The best way to hold two pieces of cardboard together is to poke holes in two pieces of cardboard and attach them together. You can use string, you can use zip ties, you can use twist ties, you can use pipe cleaners. Really, whatever you've got around, you can make that work. Also, if you have a grown-up in your household that uses a glue gun, glue guns are also useful as well. You're also going to need some stuff to decorate your creation. So I'm going to be using mostly paint today. Um, I'm using a poster paint for kids. It's non-toxic, very washable. You can also use um, acrylic is great. You can use markers, you can use crayons, uh, you can use colored paper and glue it on. So really whatever you've got at home will work perfectly well for your project. Now I'm going to show you a quick trick of how to make moving parts, just in case you want something to move on your creation. So I started out just by making this semicircle out of cardboard, obviously. I made a little arrow that's out of cardboard. What I did is I take a pencil and I poke a hole into the cardboard, okay, and into the background. Then what I'm going to do is I take a simple button and I take a twist tie. What I'm gonna do is I take the twist tie, I put it through the button, I feed it through both ends, just like so. I feed it through the arrow, okay? I feed it through the cardboard background, all right? Then if I flip it over, you basically open up the legs like that. Basically, I'm just gonna take down that twist tie. And then now I have this moving arrow. You could do all sorts of things using that exact same technique. So today I'm going to be making a very special Canadian building that's located in the province of Quebec and is only around for a limited time every year. Can you guess what it is?
fun. So today I made the Ice Palace from the Quebec Winter Carnival. So basically what I did is I have one very large box on the bottom, I have a smaller box on top, and an even smaller box on top of that, topped with a little Quebec flag. I used some cardboard tubes for turrets, and on top I just made these little cones, which are the pointy part, out of a cereal box. Um, so here we have a character, uh, his name is Bonhomme de Carnival, and uh, this is his home. So my little friend Bonhomme here, he wanted me to show you guys how I made the drawbridge. So the most important thing is that when I cut the door out, I made sure it was still attached to the bottom flap there, okay? Then what I did is on the front of the door, I poked one little hole. Right above the door, I poked another little hole. And I did this on both sides, okay? So I tied a knot on the outside of the door, fed the rope through, okay? So this rope goes into this hole, it goes behind the top of the door where it comes out on the other side here. And then this goes down and it ties on the front of the door here. Really easy. I wanted to be able to close the drawbridge from the outside. What I did is that rope in the front, I tied another rope to it and I cut a little hole right above this back window. So the idea is that I can come outside here, I can grab this rope, and then I can pull it, and that drawbridge is closed. Pretty cool, hey? Eh? So here's our temperature control, where we can change from brr, to brr, to brr. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see what you're all gonna make. And uh, please do share your creations on our Facebook event, the Boxtopia Canada Day Challenge. You can find it on Facebook. Big thanks to the Prince Edward County Arts Council for sponsoring this project. So let's get creative. All right. Happy Canada Day, everybody. Bye.